Hi guys, welcome back. Today I have a full on voiceover for this video. I'm going to use this really cute heart border rectangle by Scrap Diva Designs. It's so pretty and it has very cute intricate cutouts. And the new August release, Cute Cow. I'm also using a couple of other things that I will um, talk about along the way. So let's get started. As you saw, this is a really cute farm animal banner. I've already gone ahead and cut out some pieces. I couldn't decide, oh, and other little elements here that I have. I have this little moo banner from the Valentine's banner. And I've already cut out the cow and added it to a cute scalloped, um, I'm sorry, not scalloped, this um, rosette, sorry. It's already nice and sturdy. I put a little bow on it, super cute, it turned out really well. And I'm just using the head on the cow it's a different way of using that. I cut out this really pretty, um, it's Prima paper, and I'm trying to see which side I like better. And I'm adding in these cute cow paper straws that I found at my Hobby Lobby. And I, I picked out um, a couple of little papers here and there to see what matched better, especially since the rosette was already created. And I couldn't figure out if I wanted it long ways up and down or long ways side to side. So I'm kind of playing around with this placement and trying to figure out the good thing about these little hearts is that any way you turn them, the bottom hearts is gonna be facing you and that's cute. See, I like how the black um, makes the rosette pop out, but I also like that. There's just so many things here that I like and I'm mixing and matching. I also have a fun little, um, rosette to the side that I will be working with that one. I have this banner and it's already spelled Moo. Isn't this cute? And I'm going to add that. I ended up going with the pink one and I have those two little strips right there of the pattern paper that I'm going to use to fold over to be holding the straw. So now that I have finally done the placement and picked what I wanted, I'm adding the black paper. I did go ahead um, off camera and cut out a couple more pink strips so that they match the paper a little bit better. I just want to make sure that everything is going to work properly. And then my daughter's cat came for a visit, thought that it was time to be pet, so I had to get him off of the desk. So that's featuring her cat. That little portion. Okay. Now I'm adding the straw and I did hot glue the straw down and then the little, the rest of the little straps down. It's really easy. This is a cute way to use up those straws and you could, instead of using a banner, um, making it like a little banner or a pendant, this is a great way to create it into a memory decks card. I wanted to play around with the, what I wanted for the cow i didn't know if i was going to end up using that banner the one that said moo or not and i couldn't decide so i had to put that to the side and just finish creating this one right here isn't it pretty i like the colors that they kind of go together with the cow and because it was also pink and black i thought that it would go well with another rosette that I had made off camera and it is it's a cute one I ended up going with the moo because I used the banner long ways finally after making the other banner I decided to come back and just go with the moo I'm adding the little pom-poms this will be fun it looks cute isn't that pretty I just picked the pom-poms from my stash from a pom-pom banner I just cut off the little ones and I've added a sentiment. It says, you move me. I thought that was cute. It's from a stamp set that I have. And the letters from the, the word moo, also from a different stamp set that fit perfectly in there. Now let's work on making that sentiment pop up. I added it to a black piece there that is supposed to be like cowhide. I just needed the black portion of it. That's super cute. Adding in a little bit of dimension, a heart, a little sticker, circle sticker. Now going back to this pink one, I have little 
odds and ends in a little basket right there. I ended up stamping, like I said, pig, like I said right there, pig, and I created a rosette off camera. I think there, it's fairly simple um, making a rosette. There's other videos online that you can find how to create a rosette. I just did a simple one and again added the little, just the head of the pig with the little bow. And I'm going to kind of pretty much do the same placement as the cow. I have a little box right here full of scrap foam. I've said it in other videos. I collect all these pieces for precisely stuff like this. I didn't realize that the foam on the back of that Valentine's banner already had adhesive. So I just needed to add a little bit more dimension on that little bow piece so that it was at the same level as the pig rosette and it was it worked out perfectly fine i do want it to stay put and so i'm adding a little bit of extra hot glue on there then from one end to the other there we go it turned out it turned out pretty cute i hadn't put down that rosette because i needed to know where the placement of the banner was going to be but it works out i do kind of wish that i put the little bow on the pig on the other side but it would have covered her eye so now to add pom-poms to this one in a bit and as you can see there's a there's still a little gap right there on by the side of the pig where you can see the polka dot paper. I will go back and do some finishing touches on that but let's glue on this pom-pom first. I don't remember if I had any, any black pom-poms at the moment but I will look through my stash because I think black pom-poms would have gone better, but ooh, that one's a little bit flat. Fixing that up. Perfect. I have a little piece of a, of a gate here. I thought that would be good. So it's like a pig pen kind of. I think it just so cute. I think it turned out really cute. Like I said before, this would be a great memory decks idea instead of doing like a pendant, banner pendant. I have these two done aren't they cute this is what they looked like super adorable i'm so excited to add these to another project that i have isn't this adorable thank you so much for stopping by and checking this out don't forget to check the link in the description to um, see all the dies and the code so you can get 10 percent off your next scrap diva design um order thanks for stopping by until next time Bye!